I was the first Singaporean to qualify representing Singapore. Hi, I'm Nurul and I'm a Bocha player. This would be like my 20th year playing Bocha. In Bocha, the objective is to get your coloured ball as close as possible to the target ball which is called the jack ball. Athletes are classified BC1 to BC4 according to their different level of disability. Because of my muscular dystrophy, I play in the BC3 category. I use a ramp to propel my balls onto the court and I also have a sport assistant who assists me executing those shots. The challenge for her is that she's not allowed to turn behind to see what's going on on the court. She reads my expression very well. So I will give my instructions to my assistant. Turn right. Right. Okay. 8.5. The challenges with Pocha is number one, understanding the balls because every ball is a little bit different. They're all like hand sewn. I also need to understand what kind of height do I put the ball on the ramp to propel it a certain distance. We identify to be like the best point to put the ball uh, so that it will go straight, hopefully. I got first acquainted with Pocha in university. My friends and I organised a community project and we showcased um, a sport that can be played by Pocha users. After that event, I approached um, Singapore Disability Sports Council for practice and training opportunities. The London 2012 as well as the Rio 2016 were my more memorable Paralympic Games. I still recall like the London 2012 Paralympic Games. I was the first Singaporean to qualify. I was the only athlete there uh, representing Singapore in the sport of bocha. They put up the flags of all the participating countries. I think when I saw the Singapore flag, it was like, oh, okay. It was quite a moment. Uh. Rio 2016 was also memorable because it was our best BC3 pair performance. It's a privilege uh, to have have um, the experience. You don't have to be a wheelchair user. Anybody can participate in the sport. We rely a lot on volunteers, help to uh, roll the ball, collect the balls, do timekeeping, uh, refereeing. It's a community effort. Even though you're not a wheelchair user, you just need to sit in a chair. And then like, if you throw, you're playing wheelchair. Everyone can play regardless of ability 